Man, what is it with it when it starts, like, when I get to these islands, it starts raining all of a sudden. It's becoming a trending topic here. That's weird. Oh, the sun is also rising. Wow, how much weather phenomena can happen all at once. In any case, uh, here's your sickle moon flag, buddy. You know you like this thing. That's a sickle moon flag, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this big cash flag? And this is the second of three items that you'll miss if you're doing the short version of the side quest. That thing you gave me looks kind of old. Well, that just makes... And some would argue that that increases the value, but... Whatever, 85 rupees, that's pretty steep, actually. Mm. Designed to encourage the big haul of fish? Is that what the trident's for? Man, I didn't know you've hunted fish with tridents. I guess, like, a long time ago you would. Okay, and now what we're going to do... Let me get my list here. Uh, we're going to trade that big catch flag for the fountain idol at Great Fish Isle. And like I said before, if you were doing the short version, you would have already gotten the fountain idol from Bomb Island. And then with that, what would you, what would you have done with that? You would have traded it at, um, at Mother and Child Isles here for the big sail flag. Okay, so we're here now. Um, by the way, I should bring up that these guys will only do three trades every day, so... But you can use the Song of Passing to bypass that anyways. Alright, there's the Fountain Idol, kind of one of the more beautiful ones. Reminds me of that girl on Outset, actually. It's kind of nice. Uh, that item you're offering looks kind of dirty. So, dirty? First it's old, then it's dirty. These guys are total swindlers. Whatever. Ooh, 777 seven, seven rupees. This is my lucky day. Yay. Alright, now with this Fountain Idol, for the long quest, you're just going to want to trade it right back to him here. And it, this will give us the third of three items that you'll miss if you're doing the short version of the side quest. The short, cheap version. Cheap and dirty. Ooh, the Skull Tower Idol. This is one of my favorites, actually. It's just so neat, so neat somehow. The colors on that thing you're offering are faded most terribly. But you just gave this to me! Are you serious? Oh my god. You gave me a faulty product. Did I at least get the extended warranty? It's made of fossilized skulls of strange creatures. It's pretty weird, I'll say. Freaking bubbles on a stick. Bubble kebabs. Alright, and now, what you're going to want to do is take this Skull Tower Idol and trade it at Mother and Child Isles for the big sail flag, which you would have gotten already if you're doing the short version of the side quest by trading the Fountain Idol at Mother and Child Isles for the big sail flag. Man, this is a lot to keep track of. It's fine, though, because once you get the big sail flag from Mother and Child Isles here... Uh, that's where the long and short versions actually reconnect and all the trades for them are the same for the rest of it. So it'll be less confusing in a second here. Oh, three times! That's three times that it started raining once I get to the freaking merchant! Oh my god. <laughs> How uncanny. That's insane, man. I don't even know what it is. It must be cursed. It's the curse of the island merchant! Ooh, sounds like a Scooby-Doo mystery. Alright, here you go, man. Here's your freaky Skull Tower fuck. Uh, that's a Skull Tower idol. And he should give me the big sail flag. Oh, yeah. Ew, that's not very pleasing to the eye. I guess it's more tribal than anything. Ooh, nice flower shot there. Got a cheap deal for you. How about 35 rupees? That's way better than the freaking 85 you made me pay for whatever it was earlier. There you go. This flag looks like it would definitely be good for business. I suppose so. It is rather cheery and... It's, I like how it incorporates both blue and orange, because that's the whole Castlevania thing, you know, complementing colors. I'm sure anyone who watched the sequelitis will know that. I'm not trading this back to this guy. I'm not supposed to do that, I don't think. I think I have to take this to Great Fish Isle. Yeah, see, he'll give you the big catch flag for that, and that's a downgrade, because we already got that before. Are you sure? Don't come crying to me if you forget your decision later. Trust me, I won't. Um, yeah, but now you're going to want to take this to Great Fish Isle to trade it. That was so abrupt. I was just like, you're going to want to take this to Greyfish Isle to trade it. And then just complete awkward silence. What else would we take it to Greyfish Isle for anyways? To freaking stuff in his nose? That'd be fun. <laughs> Jeez, I have to finish this thing pretty soon here because I have an optometrist appointment to go to. Ugh. That might be the only time you ever hear me say that, because I, my autonomous appointments are so few and far between. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, what is that? It's a hero's flag! 
The hero's flag, yeah, it looks kind of decrepit, I don't know. Let's see. Your item there is in need of repair. Yours is freaking scratched by like a Dodongo or something. I don't even, whatever, man. I don't really care about the items themselves, I just care about the ultimate rewards. Alright, so there's the hero's flag. Getting close to the end here, folks, don't you worry. Because now we're going to trade this hero's flag for the real hero himself. Let's see. Aw, oh, damn it, there's that three trade today thing I was talking about. Hold on. No, I don't want to trade you the Wind Waker. <laughs> you asshole. Even when really I contemplated taking it there for a second, I saw him scratching his chin. His scraggle beard. Oh, jeez, were you just squatting there for a second? Link? That's what it looked like. It was weird. Alright, uh, let's see. Here you go, buddy. Have your have your jollies with your own flag you just sold me. Well, I guess he sold it to me, like, yesterday. Now. Uh, let's see. Most worthy than my fee will be. I need at least 100 rupees for this one, I'm afraid. At least he doesn't, like, bullshit you with that one. It's like, oh, your flag sucks balls. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna charge you 100 rupees. He's just like, oh, no, this one's rare. So... It's a rare statue of Rito Postman made out of wood. Carved from the wood of the Great Deku Tree or something. That'd be cool. Now what you're gonna need to do is take this up to Mother and Child Isles for our final trade. Well, well, final trade if you're, like, um, only doing the quest for the reward from Zunari. There's one other trade you have to make if you're doing it for the Heart Piece 2. Fuck! Alright, well, it's starting to rain. I'll take that as a sign that I'm close to the island. Oh, what do you know? Wow. That was a good indicator. I was actually testing that. I wasn't really. I was just going to see whether I would sail right past the island or not. To be fair. Oh, it stopped raining as soon as I actually stepped on the island, though, so that's something. Something new, at least. Because this is the start of something new. Except we're doing the same thing that we've done, like, t 11 times before already. The Shop Guru Statue of Zunari himself. How about damn apples? This is super rare, so how about 200 rupees? Fair enough. I mean, that gets me some pretty stellar rewards here. Some pretty bodacious stuff. This little statue is the apple of every businessman's eye. The apple jack of my eye. Ugh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Make as many references as I can, yo. Alright, so now, with this thing, you remember that the Great Fish Island guy said that he was actually searching like long and far for this statue so we're gonna go ahead and trade it over to him and then we'll stop by Zunari's stall to see what our actual reward from him will be because it is one of the it's, it's not something you'd expect it's not like a treasure chart or a heart piece or anything of the like it's actually something really really cool in my opinion all right here we are uh, I didn't even talk for like until I was actually talking to this guy is is that it couldn't be the Shop Guru Statue? Such a divine figure. Surely this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns at the peak of the business world. Almost worthy day. Wow, my lifelong dream has at long last been, been come true. Such joy. This is my thanks to you for fulfilling my dream. It is my heartful reward, brimming with gratitude. Alright, hold us your hands. We get gratitude crystals? No, we get a heart piece. <laughs> oh man, he did say gratitude though, so it kind of embellishes that. My, but I have received a worthy item. Tonight I will hold this close to my bosom as I sleep. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, You want to know a secret, guys? I wasn't originally going to read his text there. I was just going to skip all the way through it. But then I remembered that he said the word bosom in his text. So I just had to read it. I felt compelled. Because how many times in your life are you going to get to say the word bosom? I mean, really. <laughs> just, just really. Like, think about that. Like, probably less than ten times in my entire lifespan I'm going to say the word bosom. And I've already said it two in the last minute, so maybe not. I don't know. Actually, I think I've said it like three. Jeez. Anyways, uh, let's stop thinking about bosoms. And uh, get a move on. Get the show on. A dog and pony show. I'm not even sure what that expression means, a dog and pony show. I know it is an expression. I'm pretty sure it is anyways, but who cares anyways? Maybe I'll look it up or something. Put it in the description, because everyone cares, I'm sure. Let's see. What you got now, Zunari? You got a pretty brimming over the top shop here now. Yes, yes, young master. Look, already my shop has a, wa wa a wide variety of products to choose from. It's a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master, every morning the boatman comes with packages from traveling salesmen you've traded with. 
At last, my humble style has the appearance of a full-fledged store. He is staring right at the camera there. That is so scary. This is a really weird camera angle. Okay. Master, you are the savior of my soul. I must thank you from the very bottom of my bosom. This is my most prized possession next to my bosom, of course. None other than the Zunari family bosom. Please accept it. But no, it's actually... Oh, whoa. I forgot how cool that thing looked up close. It's the magic armor. Use your magic power to create a barrier around you. Hell yeah. And this thing looks pretty insanely cool. It gives you like this awesome aura. This distinct purple aura. Let me actually show it off. Aw, oh, yeah. Ain't nothing gonna hurt me while I got this thing on my face. My hair is kind of popping out of it, though. And I should mention that if you, you have the Tingle Tuner, there is a thing on there you can use to get the same magic armor, like, effect. For th I think it lasts for 30 seconds, and it costs, like, some rupees and stuff. But it's a uh, green instead of purple, and I also don't think it consumes any magic. It might. I'm not totally sure of that. Anyways, I really should get going here, because I am running late for a very important date. So I'm going to go ahead and just stand out here, gazing at the horizon, contemplating all the possibilities, because I've still got a lot to do before anything else. Like seriously, you're probably not going to see another dungeon for at least another 10 episodes or so. It's, it's crazy how much there is. But anyways, with my 0307 rupees, thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.